Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, honorable guests, and everyone here in attendance, including those who are live streaming with us. Can I have a big round of applause, please? Thank you. And this round of applause is not for me, but for everyone here in attendance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome everyone to the 13th Asian Pacific Postal Union Congress or the 13th APPU Congress. So, I would like to welcome everyone here to the City of Angels, which is the beautiful city of Bangkok, Thailand. And it's so great to see everyone here in attendance after the COVID-19 pandemic. It's great to see everyone who, who have flown all the way here. Thank you for your attendance. As for those who cannot make it here, thank you for live streaming with us. So, my name is Tosatam Piem Sambun, or Todd for short. I will be your MC for the entire duration of the opening ceremony. So, before we continue, I would like to show you the uh, important regulations about the safety precautions of our meeting here today. The safety precautions that, even though Thailand's current public health regulations may have wearing face masks while being outdoors or indoors and in public places is no longer mandatory. However, it is recommended and compulsory that all delegates here wear face masks at all times because since we're here together, social distancing in some cases such as today is not possible. So please make sure you wear a face mask at all times in our APPU Congress. Thank you for your cooperation. And if you do not have a face mask, we will provide you with face masks at the foyer area. And I see that a lot of people are wearing face masks, so thank you for your cooperation. All right, furthermore, let me assure you that the MC, myself, our staff members, and all the pretties have been vaccinated and that we have tested our ATK prior to the event and all test results has come up as negative. So you can be sure that everyone involved here are all safe. So before we begin, let me embrace you with an opening performance. This is an opening performance which I have talked about off scene. I want everyone to view this opening performance because it is such a great performance. It's an opening show called Corn Show or the Human Puppet Show. The Human Puppet Show or the Corn Show, ladies and gentlemen, is very famous. It's a very famous show in Thailand that we want to portray to the rest of the world. It is so famous and so unique that the UNESCO has also shown great interest in the Corn Show or the Human Puppet Show, and UNESCO would like to make this show an intangible cultural heritage. This performance is a famous story about morality, integrity, and pride through a mythical story. So this is a really great show, and as you can see, we have our drums here as well. This is Gong Sabah Chai, or long drums, to make sure that everyone is awakened, everyone is ready to go, as we have a five-day-long APPU Congress meeting. So we want everyone to be as hyped up as possible, as excited as possible, and of course, we want to greet you with an amazing opening show called Prana Rai Song Krut. So if everyone is ready, please, a big round of applause for our opening show. Visnu on Garuda. Garuda is a symbol that represents the king. On the king's flags lay Garuda assembly. To summon Garuda onto it holds as the highest prestige to eradicate all the dangers and malignant. Visnu on Garuda holds tenta amount to increase the power of Visnu, to help eradicating all the malignant, as is the belief to raise faith, prestige, and also the sacred, the Thai people praise and worship too. Garuda is the divine the Thai people are bound to for ages of time.
an amazing performance indeed and definitely worthy of being the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage and most importantly, a great show to start the 13th APPU Congress. Wow, absolutely wonderful. And we have more shows coming up later on during the day and also tonight at our gala dinner as well. So we want everyone here to enjoy our performances and we want everyone live streaming to enjoy it as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to officially begin our 13th APPU Congress. In this occasion, it is my greatest honor and privilege to invite a very important person for a warm welcoming speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Natapon Natasombun, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, to give us a warm welcoming speech. Please welcome. His Excellency, Mr. Chaiwood Tana Kamana Nunson. Minister of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, Mr. Masahiko Mietoki, Director General of Universal Postal Union, or UPU, Mr. Rin Honglian, Secretary General of Asia Pacific Postal Union, or APPU, Dr. Mahmoud Liae, Chair of the Executive Council, Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here today among the distinguished guests and delegate and representative from the member country and the designated operator of the Asia Pacific region. On behalf of the government of Thailand, I would like to convey our warm welcome to all of you participating in the 13th APPU Congress in Bangkok. The 13th APPU Congress will be another significant milestone in the history of our union to develop and strengthen cooperation among the member countries and their designated co operators in the region and, to also, and also to foster existing and cross relation with the UPU. As the host country of the APPU Bureau and the Asia Pacific Postal College, Thailand is honored to be part of the APPU and has been supporting the APPU activity toward closer, closer partnership and knowledge transfer among member countries for the development of the postal business in our region. This year, we take our great pride of being the host of the 13th APPU Congress. On behalf of the host country, we would like to take this opportunity to express our sincere thanks and profile appreciation to all party involved. As the first ever physical meeting since the outbreak of COVID-19, special thanks are given in particular to all members of the APPU for your strong support and kind presence on site and also online with active participation to make this Congress happen. This thing, the delegate, ladies and gentlemen, over, the, the, over this five day of the Congress, I have no doubt that we will be updated with all matters arising from the previous executive committee and from the UPU Abhijan cycle, whereby important issues have been initiated and highlighted. We will also have a good chance to discuss several matters and share views on international postal business trend. And also note the activity of the APPC and the APP cooperative and the tremendous works of the community on and working group. I'm certain that the excellent work of the APPU under the leadership of the incumbent Secretary General uh, Mr. Lin will be continued by the elected Secretary General, which now we have two candidates, one from India and another one from New Zealand, which we will discuss uh, this matter uh, in our meeting. 
the under the leadership of the in, uh, secretary general, the incumbent secretary general will be continued by the elected secretary general for the benefit of the growth of the postal business and the well-being of the people of each respective member country as a whole. Last but not least, I would like to take this opportunity to extend to you my best wish for fruitful deliberation and successful conclusion in line with the objective of this meeting. I hope that you all have a pleasant journey and, have, and you also enjoy your brief stay in Bangkok. At this end, let me wish this significant event a great success and accomplishment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Mr. Natasambun for your warm, welcoming speech. Indeed, an amazing opening speech to welcome everyone to this year's Congress. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next, it is also my greatest honor to invite Dr. Mahmoud Lewi, Deputy Minister and Chair of Executive Council, to give his introductory remarks. So please welcome Dr. Lewi. Please welcome. to welcome to Mr. Metwok, Director and General of UPU and his colleges. In the name of God, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning, it is my pleasure to express my gratitude thanks to the Ministry of Digital Economy of Society of Thailand and Thailand Post for hosting the 13 Asia Pacific Postal Union Congresses. On behalf of uh, Dr. Zarepur, Ministry of ICT of the Islamic Republic of Iran, I would like once again to take this opportunity to extend Iran's highest gratitude and application for all of the hard work made by Thailand to organize this event. Ladies and gentlemen, I, as the chairman of APPUEC, believe that the regional interaction and cooperation among APPU members is the most effective way in order to achieve goals of the organization. Certainly this uh, common I believe we encourage all of us to make every effort to achieve common regional and global goals by adopting innovative and creative procedure and by employing skilled and knowledge-based human resource. Dear guests, unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has left all industries and businesses with major change. And quarantine and closure of jobs in the world also challenged the physical infrastructures so that the opportunity to hold postal events in, Persian, in person became impossible and the 13 Asia Pacific Postal Union Congress was also postponed for a year. However, uh, the postal sector in parallel with other businesses were able to overcome many obstacles and limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic through making use of new technology communication methods and uh, benefiting from innovative approaches. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, no, 
with the help of the medical community and widespread vaccination in the world, the opportunity to physically attend the uh, 13 Asia Pacific Postal Union Congress in Thailand has been provided. I am very pleased. It is evident that this meeting is a promising opportunity for the members of the APPU to strengthen cooperation and interaction in the region so that uh, through the decision made, it will be possible to provide better postal services at the regional and global level as will as a help to achieve the goals of the APPU, of the UPU, excuse me. I would like to express my gratitude to the APPU board under the management of uh, Mr. Lin, Hong Liang, and these colleges. Undoubtedly, their effort during the COVID-19 pandemic for the virtual holding of the third meeting of the APPU EC and also the extra extraordinary meeting of the APPU EAC before the 27 UPU Congress for the purpose of interaction and common thinking among the members of the Asia Pacific region were significant. I also express my sincere thanks to Japan for its cooperation as the vice chair of uh, APPUEC. At the end, I am proud to officially present the chairmanship of the new term uh, of the APPUEC to Thailand in this Congress. I wish you all a successful Congress. Thank you. Thank you very much to Dr. Leo Yi. Another great speech to the opening ceremony of the 13th APPU Congress, ladies and gentlemen. So we want everyone to be as hyped up as possible, as energetic as possible. And for those who are live streaming with us, welcome once again. Welcome to the 13th APPU Congress. So now, ladies and gentlemen, moving on, I would like to kindly invite another VVIP on stage. Please welcome Mr. Lin Hong Liang, Secretary General of Asian Pacific Postal Union, to give us a speech from the APPU, please. Please welcome. Mr. Chaut Tanakamusun, Minister of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, Honorable Dr. Mahamud Lee, Deputy Minister, Chairman of the Board and CEO of Iran Post, APPUEC Chairman, Honorable Mr. Masakito Metoki, Director General of the UPUIB, Honorable Mr. Nevin Chochayap-Keep, Vice Minister of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, Honorable Mr. Natapong, Natasupong, Deputy Permanent Secretary of MDES Thailand, Honorable Mr. Lachabong Bukatubi, Chairman of the Board of the Director of Thailand Post, Honorable Mr. Dana Suhadal Rukuhu, CEO of Thailand Post, distinguished delegates, dear friends, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a pleasure for me to be here to welcome you in Bangkok after three very long 
and very hard years of waiting. All the time expecting, all the time hoping to see each other again after we last met in Tokyo in 2019, but never knowing if we would. But here we are, and it's great to be able to speak to you in person at the opening ceremony of the 13th APPU Congress. I would like to thank all of the delegates and observers for attending the Congress physically and those who may virtually and for your continuous support and kind cooperation with APPU. Most of all, I would like to thank our host, the government of Thailand and the Thailand Post for hosting the Congress at this still difficult time and for the very precise and excellent arrangements. Almost everywhere we look in our postal world, there's something happening, an issue, an opportunity, and or a challenge. During the past more than two years, the COVID-19 pandemic changed and challenged our business, our economy, and our life. The postal sector bore the pressure and also contributed to the economy, the government, and the people. What will and should the postal sector be both now and after COVID-19? To get the answer to the question is the objective of the Congress. In this week, we will discuss what we did, what we are doing, and what, what we plan to do to find a way that will enhance our work of the union, enhance our business, and to serve the development of the economy and the people better in the future. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I wish the 13th APPU Congress a great success and wish you all a wonderful time in Bangkok and or somewhere in the East Pacific region. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Mr. Lin for an enthusiastic speech and of course another great opening to the 13th APPU Congress. All right, ladies and gentlemen, commencing on with the opening ceremony of the 13th APPU Congress, I would now like to kindly invite Mr. Masahiko Metoki, Director General of Universal Postal Union, on stage to give a speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. His Excellency, Mr. Chawit Tanaka Manno, Minister of Digital Economy and Society, Distinguished APPU Executive Council Chair, Dr. Mahmoud Riai, Deputy Minister, Chairman of the Board and CEO, Iran National Post Company, Secretary General of the Asian Pacific Postal Union, Mr. Bring Hongrian, Kun Natapong uh, Natasombun, Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Minister of Digital Economy and Society, Kun Natapong uh, Papukuribun, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Thailand Post, Kun Nawin Chuitatip, Vice Minister of Digital Economy and Society, Kun Ekasit Kran Taksin Society Secretary to the Ministry to Digital Economy and Society. Kun Danan Spataraban, Chief Executive Officer of Thailand Post. Honorable Ministers and Head of Delegates, Excellencies, Ambassadors, 
distinguished guests, friends, colleagues. Good morning, Saudi Cup. It is a great pleasure and honor for me to be addressing the opening of the 13th APP Congress today as the Director General of the International Bureau of the UPU as first elected from this Asia-Pacific region in the beautiful, wonderful city of Bangkok. It's also a place of my deep memories. I wish to thank the government and the people of Thailand, as well as officials of Thailand Post, for the very warm welcome that I and the UPU team and also all the delegates have received. My special thanks also go to Mr. Rin Hongrian, the Secretary General of APPU and his Secretariat for inviting me and the UPU to be part of this momentum occasion. I congratulate you on efficiently organizing this event. I'm glad to see a large number of representatives of APPU member countries and distinguished guests gathered here today for the inauguration of this 13th APPU Congress. We are privileged to meeting physically and this week, especially recovering the difficult situation created by the COVID-19 pandemic over the past two years. It is clear nothing beats getting together in person as we are today and this week. Asian Pacific is a very important region for the UPU for various reasons. Asia Pacific has a unique diversity of industrialized, developing, and at least developed countries, as well as a number of small states, developing countries. All of this, together with the expansive land mass of the region and cultural and language diversity made in the Pacific unique and exciting place to live and to do business. Most importantly, this region has the higher, highest mail and e-commerce volumes of the entire UPU membership. More than half of the world volumes come from this region. To enhance this positive trend, the UPU is helping Asia Pacific countries in various ways to improve their postal operations and quality of service. We are now in the process of launching the third phase of the operational readiness for e-commerce project, in short, ORE, aimed at supporting uh, distinct, uh, designated operators in the region in efforts to improve their operations, primarily in the area of e-commerce and digital trade. The UPU will also continue to collaborate closely with the Asia Pacific Postal College on capacity building. We very much appreciate the excellent work that the college has done over the years, and we shall continue to offer our full support. Distinguished participants, before I conclude my remarks, I'm happy to inform you of a joint UPU and WCO, World Custom Organizations Conference, that will be hosted by Japan next year. That conference will provide an opportunity for collaboration with customs, a key partner in the global supply chain, 
I would like to encourage many of you to attend that event. Finally, I would also like to inform you that as part of this week's conference, the UPU and APPU will be signing a cooperation agreement. This will further enhance the collaboration between our two unions as we work to promote postal development in this region. So let me now conclude my wishing you every success in your discussion at this conference. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much to Mr. Metoki for an informative speech. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, another amazing speech. And finally, it is now my greatest pleasure to invite His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood Tanakhamanusan, Minister of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, to give us his congratulations speech from the ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood. Mr. Masahiko Metoki, Director General of the Universal Postal Union. Mr. Lin Hongliang, Secretary General of the Asian Pacific Postal Union. Dr. Mahmoud Lioi, Deputy Minister and APPU EC Chairman. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Royal Thai Government, I am greatly honored to welcome APPU delegates and our distinguished guests to the 13th APPU Congress in Bangkok. As one of the founders of the union, Thailand is honored to take part in this event, bringing together postal regulators and designated operators in the region, together with observers from other regions. The postal sector has played a vital role in socio-economic development at both the national level and international level. Over the past decade, we have experienced rapid change in communication and logistics, resulting from advanced communications technologies in digital era. These changes have resulted in the decline of conventional mail changes in lifestyles, and especially cross-border e-commerce. Moreover, new state-of-the-art technologies have allowed the postal sector to move toward digital transformation. And collaboration among destinate operators offering a wider selection of service choices to better serve and meet customer demand. However, these aren't the only challenges facing the postal sector. As the world currently faces economic recess, political upheaval, changing environment conditions, and the COVID-19 pandemic, to name but a few. To care for any challenges that may occur, APPU members must be very prepared to develop our area, including management, operating system, marketing strategies, and service development. We must encourage cooperation among our members, including, but not limited to, strategic partners and stakeholders in the supply chain, as well as other active players in the market. Furthermore, Full support from governmental bodies is necessary since there are regulatory issues involved, such as customs procedures and aviation security. More importantly, in today's digital era, we must maximize the postal network through the use of IoT and big data, which will also require us to place emphasis on cybersecurity, and data privacy protection. 
Thailand Post has focused on transforming fundamental operations to keep up with the changes in technology. The strengths and key resources of postal services are constantly developing in order to support change, changing customer demands more efficiently. For example, the development of distribution channel via e-commerce through the thailandpostmart.com website, which allow local farmers or manufacturers to have access to Thailand post networks of integrated physical post offices and online distribution channels. Another example is the development of the total document handling or TDH, which is a medium for transmission of data or information via reliable electronic document platforms instead of physical document deliveries. And digital post ID is another recent innovation that has transformed Thai tradition, traditional five-digit postcodes into a digital ID for location-based services. The digital addressing system can link with GPS in order to identify the location and address promptly, resulting in quicker and more accurate delivery. The system can also interface with personal information owned by state agencies, regulators, and corporations, which can provide information as restated under PDPA. Excellency, distinguished guests, the postal service is moving toward a new chapter. We must be ready to cope with far-reaching challenges in an ever-changing industry. I believe that the APPU can build on its past achievements to encourage government to play greater and more constructive roles in promoting the postal, sub postal business. The continued collaborative activities and exiting close ties of APPU will help bring together sustainable growth to the postal business of each respective member and the well-being of each country. I would like to reaffirm to you that Thailand is eager to cooperate and share our experiences through APPU activities. In closing, I am confident that we will overcome any challenges waiting for us ahead. May I extend you my best wishes for fruitful discussions and a pleasant stay in Bangkok. I now declare the 13th APPU Congress open. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to His Excellency Mr. Shai Wood and Please remain on stage, sir. Just then was a great speech to show his congratulations from the ministry as His Excellency Mr. Shai Wood and Minister of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, would like to give an overview to everyone of the 13th APPU Congress. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it is time to commemorate the official opening ceremony of the 13th APPU Congress. So I would like to kindly once again invite His Excellency Mr. Shaiwood Tanakh Manusan to do the honors of officially launching the 13th APPU Congress, please. So what we'll do is that we'll deliver a ball as a gimmick to His Excellency Mr. Shai Wood, and we will count down together as a signal for him to place this beautiful ball on the podium, which will be the official launch of the 13th APPU Congress. And as you can see, the ball being delivered is a very beautiful way of delivering it by using Narai Song Krut. So Mr. Shaiwood, could you please receive the ball and don't place it on the podium yet because we will give you the signal as we count down together. If everyone is ready, starting from 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. And now, I would like to kindly invite Dr. Mahmoud Lioi, Deputy Minister and Chair of Executive Council, to receive a gift from His Excellency, Mr. Chaiwood Tanakh Manusan, please. Please welcome and a big round of applause for Dr. Lioi. It's amazing that Mr. Chaiwood has officially launched the opening ceremony and he is also doing the honors of giving the gifts as a souvenir to our VVIPs and our executives. And I would like all VVIPs to get ready as next up we have a photo session with our VVIPs, head of delegates and also with our delegates as well. And next up, I would like to invite Mr. Lin, Secretary General of Asian Pacific Postal, to receive a gift from His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood. A big round of applause, please. And after you receive your gift, please remain on stage. I would like to invite Mr. Masahiko Mitoki, Director General of Universal Postal Union, onto the stage to receive a gift from His Excellency Mr. Chaiwood Tanakama Nusan. A big round of applause, please. These are absolutely beautiful souvenir gifts to all three of our VVIPs on behalf of Thailand. Thank you very much, Mr. Lin. And ladies and gentlemen, in return, Mr. Lin, Secretary General of Asian Pacific Postal, would also like to present a gift to His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood Tanakh Manusan, as a token of appreciation. A big round of applause, please. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first picture, I would like to invite His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood Tanakhama Nusan, Minister of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand, to take pictures with Dr. Mahmoud Lioi, Deputy Minister and Chair of Executive Council, along with Mr. Lin, Secretary General of Asian Pacific Postal, Mr. Masahiko Mitoki, Director General of Universal Postal Union, and I would like to invite on stage another very important person to take pictures, Mr. Natapon Natasomboon, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Digital Economy and Society of Thailand. Please welcome. So for the first picture, we will have His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood Tanakamanusan, Dr. Mahmoud Lioi, Mr. Lin, Mr. Masahiko Mitoki, and Mr. Tanapon Natasomboon.
All right, if five executives could please remain on stage, as now I would like to invite more VIPs on stage to take a picture. Please welcome Mr. Nguyen Cho Shai Tip, Vice Minister of Digital Economy and Society. Please welcome Mr. Egasit Kuna Nan Thakun, Secretary to the Minister of Digital Economy and Society. Please welcome Mr. Ratapon Pak Di Poom, Chairman of the Board of Directors. Please welcome Dr. Danan Supatarapan, Chief Executive Officer, Thailand Post Company Limited. Please welcome Thailand Post Executive. And please welcome another Thailand Post Executive. Please welcome Dr. Patara Chod Witiakun, Advisor to the Minister. Please welcome Mr. Chakra Wi Wisutipon, attached to the Secretariat of the Prime Minister. Please welcome Mr. Norapon Tanti Montri, attached to the Secretariat of the Prime Minister. And please welcome Mr. Somboon. Bunya Ratana Prapa, Working Parties of the Minister. Please welcome and a big round of applause, please. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. And for another picture, if everyone could please all wear a face mask on stage. Thank you. If you have your face mask with you, please wear your face mask, please. We would like one picture where we can see all your face and another picture with the new normal. It will always be memorized as the 13th APBU Congress is a congress where we have a face-to-face -face meeting, however, with a face mask as well. And from the next shot onwards, if everyone could please all wear a face mask and do not remove it, please. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, moving on to our next photo session. I would now like to invite all head of delegates to take a picture together with our VVIPs on stage. So please welcome all head of delegates to take a group photo with our VVIPs on stage, please. So welcome all head of delegates. And don't worry, we have a podium behind and also a podium in front where everyone can all take a picture. And please make sure that you have your face mask on at all times. Thank you. So it's a really great picture that we get to take picture with His Excellency Tanakama Nusson, Mr. Natasomboon, Dr. Leo Yi, Mr. Lin, and also Mr. Metoki. They are our VVIPs that have made this Congress possible. So we would like to take a group photo with him, please. All right, if there's any more head of delegates, please make your way in front. We would like all head of delegates to take pictures. If everyone could please move forward one, one step, just the people uh, who are down on the stage, if you could move up one step, please. Perfect, great, amazing. 
So all head of delegates, please move up one step. As for the other VVIPs on stage, remain where you are, please. Thank you. So make sure you take a look at the middle camera. This is our APPU Congress camera. And for the final photo shoot, we would like to invite all delegates for a group photo together. So if everyone could please remain on stage, remain where you are, as now we would like to invite all delegates on stage behind our VVIPs to take a group photo together. So please welcome all delegates and make sure you have your face mask on with you at all times. Thank you. So please welcome all delegates to take a group photo together of the 13th APPU Congress, along with our VVIPs who are already on stage and head of delegates who are in front of the stage. So all delegates, please stand behind our VVIPs on the platform that has raised above you. So this is the final picture, and we would like all delegates to take a picture together with our head of delegates and VVIPs. It's so amazing to see so many people from abroad who have traveled here to be part of the 13th APPU Congress that will be held from today until the 2nd of September 2022. An absolutely great moment indeed. As for the Thai year, it's the 2nd of September 2565. This is the Buddhism year. All right, so please remain where you are as we're now lining up all delegates to take a group photo and make sure that everyone is in the frame all together. Your attendance has not been taken for granted. As for those who have not made it here today, those who are Zooming live, we would like to thank you for being a part of this Congress and we would like to thank you for being a part of the opening ceremony. As today we have great speeches from our VVIPs, we have a great opening performance and of course we have a great opening gimmick by His Excellency, Mr. Shai Wood. So thank you for your patience and thank you for your cooperation as we are now lining up all delegates along with head delegates, VVIPs and everyone together to take a group photo. All right, so please remain where you are as we're about to take pictures now. Please look at the middle camera. This is our APPU camera. And for the final picture, we would like everyone to raise your hand high in the sky. So we're gonna go one, two, three, yeah! Once again, one, two, three, yeah! One, two, three, yeah! Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you to all delegates, head of delegates, VVIPs, guests of honor, especially His Excellency, Mr. Shaiwood Tanakamanuson. Thank you to Mr. Natasambun. Thank you to Dr. Leo Yi. Thank you to Mr. Lin. Thank you to Mr. Mitoki and all delegates for taking your time to join this auspicious occasion as we join our opening ceremony of the 13th APPU Congress. And this is only the beginning. We still have more meetings, more seminars coming up. And ladies and gentlemen, at 10.30, we will begin our plenary session. So please make sure you take your time to grab a coffee, tea, have a toilet break, as at 10.30 a.m., we will begin our plenary session. So thank you once again for being part of the opening ceremony of the 13th APPU Congress. This concludes the official opening ceremony. Once again, I would like to thank you sincerely for everyone for your time and participation to the 13th APPU Congress. My name is Tosa Tampiem Sabun or Todd, wishing you a pleasant experience and a pleasant stay at Bangkok, Thailand, and hope you enjoy the five day long of the 13th Asian Pacific Postal Union Congress. 
And ladies and gentlemen, another gentle reminder that our plenary session will begin at exactly 10.30 a.m. So please be here on time. As for now, you can take some break. Please enjoy the tea and coffee we provide at the foyer area. The bathroom is to your left. Go straight ahead near the exit. And we'll come back here at exactly 10.30 a.m. sharp. Please do not be late as our plenary session will begin then. And tonight, you all have a grand gala dinner coming up.